our second guest is to help generate gift giving ideas to expand the mind. We're going to focus on books, the literary world. It is an honor to introduce a Baltimore native, born and raised here in Baltimore, as well as living here now in Baltimore County, an author who has over 100 titles to her name, award-winning. During the course of her writing career, she has won the Unity Guild's Best New Drama and Romance Author. She has been nominated three straight years for the Emma Award, with the fourth year being the charm, as she took home the award in 2007 for Favorite Romantic Suspense, and has also received her first Romantic Times Reviewer's Choice Awards nomination for Best African American Romance. She has created the One Love Reunion, an event designed to bring readers and authors together to celebrate books. It's an honor to welcome A.C. Arthur. Thank you for joining us, A.C. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Let's start, first start by beginning with, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came into the writing career. So I am, my family would say I'm very, very controlled. Um, and because I am so controlled, um, when I started to read books, I always wanted to change what the characters were doing. I felt like I could do it better. Um, and I probably couldn't, but in my mind, I thought I could do this better. Um, so I began writing little short stories. Um, I won a contest in high school, and that kind of pumped me up a little bit. I was like, oh, yeah, I can do this. I can write more stories. Um, but for years, I just wrote stories and just let people that I worked with read. Um, I never really tried to be published. Um, and so my daughter was sick and then I was home from work. And so I had a lot of extra time on my hands. So I started to write these stories and I noticed that there were black romance stories being published. And up until that point, I had only read the white romance books. And so I was really shocked to see these new books. And, um, I went out and I bought these books and I read them. I was like, oh yes, I can do this. I can do this. And um, I submitted my book to that publisher, and here we are today. What genres do you currently write in or have published in? Contemporary romance, paranormal romance, romantic suspense, young adult romance, writing as artist artists. I write that under a different name. Um, and small town contemporary romance, which I also write under a different name. So you have different pen names. Why do you have different pen names? Is there a reason behind that? Yes. So I generally my contemporary romance is very, very sexy romance. And when I decided to write a young adult book, I knew that I didn't want other young adults to pick up an ACR book reading that content versus reading the young adult. So I, I decided to use a different name. And actually, I used my real name, my full name, to write under young adult. Um, when I decided to use a different name for the small town contemporary, again, it was almost the same type of thing is that I just wanted to make sure that once readers started to read all of my body of work, that they would be sort of guaranteed what type of story they're getting. And so when you pick up an AC Arthur book, you know you're going to get a sexy story with a little bit of romance thrown in maybe some shape shifters or something creeping around. When you pick up a Lacey Baker book, you know you're going to get that hallmark feel type of book. And when you pick up an artist author book, you know that's a young adult book. So you're reading that as, oh, I'm a young adult. You have also created your own publishing company, Artist Republishing. Tell us what prompted mm -hmm. you to create that and what are you doing with that company? So. Publishing traditionally, um, you're publishing under a lot of different guidelines. Um, depending on which publisher you're writing for, they have separate guidelines that you have to follow in your book. And for me, that started to be a little bit hindering at points. And I wanted to be able to write stories without 
all of these parameters just to write the story the way it came. So I began the publishing company so that I could do that on my own. Um, it's not, it was, it was never meant to be a publishing company to publish other authors. Um, it was just so that I could get out the stories that I wanted to write in the way that I wanted to write them. Some of the things that I do with the company now is, again, I expand, I'm expanding on the types of books that I'm writing. Um, and I also use the company as a vehicle behind the literary event that I also sponsor. So in conjunction with that, um, we're offering lots of different classes to writers, as well as just events for readers to come and meet their favorite writers. What are the different formats that your books are published in? How can people purchase your books? So I have books that are in digital format. I have books that are in paperback format. Some of the paperback format can be found in stores. Um, not as much as they used to, but some of them can be found in stores. Uh, you can also purchase through my website. And I also just a new thing, a new contract that I've just signed is that I have books that will be available through an app on your phone so that you can read according to your time and you can pay to read as you go. Excellent. Tell me other um, ideas that you have for the future for different projects that you may be working on. So I'm actually working on a very super, super secret project right now um, that will hopefully be uh, published in November of next year. Um, it will be a women's fiction project, and it is a project from my heart. So it's not a uh, romance. It's based in Baltimore. It's about three women from Baltimore. So it has a lot of Baltimore flavor, a lot of Baltimore places. Um, that's probably all I can tell you about that right now. But one of my biggest goals is to venture into writing women's fiction. Excellent. Any other ideas or concepts that you want to talk about or any books that you have currently out there that readers can pick up? So I have just started a new series called The Game Changers. And the first two books in, those, in that series released in September. I'm really excited about those books. Uh, they center around six Black men um, who were displaced in their neighborhood and people, uh, the people in their small town um, judged them and created the persona that they were the bad boys of the town. And now they're back to prove they're not the bad boys of the town. So I'm really excited about that series. Any other books or comments that you'd like to leave our readers with and how they can also connect with you if they want to reach out to you? So I'm always on the web. I spend way too much time on social media. Um, I You can first reach out to me first and foremost through my website, uh, www.acauthor.com. Uh, through the website, you can reach me through the contact form. You can sign up for AC News, um, which is anytime the site is updated with new announcements, book covers, excerpts. They'll automatically be sent. You'll automatically receive an email to know about that news. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. And we will definitely make sure anyone who has questions can ask them through the chat. Again, thank you for joining us. And we look forward to all of the work that you have in the future for us to read. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.